Yo, 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 guys, um, stop. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, so I didn't able to, like, able to, like, to unload and stuff, like, you know, like, last week, because, like, no people not having to watch. Well, maybe, like, this week, maybe, like, this week, I might load two videos in this one, two days, like, this day, two videos in two days, around six, and probably, yeah. Uh, from that one, from that one, I might go to an other video of what I was doing. On Friday, it's going to be like small for that because I'm on sure I'll do the off because, like, <laughs> kind of small day to like record videos, but I'll do it for like, please see it again. I'll just give you cool videos all that, and probably it's like on a cool video for a long time and please if you guys are new right here in the channel please hit that like button hit the subscribe button as well and yeah let go let go guys it's history behind the warrior so basically yeah guys um basically i'm watching like god of war um basically i'm watching like basically and i can't wait this game come out before yeah, we can not wait this Actually, the game come out on PS5. You want to see, guys? You actually want to see gameplay of it? You want to see gameplay of it? Just, just change my chat right now and say you want to see gameplay of the drop. So, yeah, I'm gonna just, like up to you guys. You want to see like gameplay all that? I might play God of War the first one. I might go play God of War on that. So, once you get like gameplay for that, so I mean like um, just gonna try to put gameplay, or you want to see like. Like some games like Spider Man, what have you got? You, you got to use like you want to see gameplay, you don't comment down low, you want to see gameplay as well. And yeah, let go because I can't wait this game come out, man. Really, I can't wait this game come out. And welcome back to another video with us still coming off the fourth year anniversary of the release of the fourth game. God, try saying that 12 times in a row. It has raised many questions about the status of the next game. More specifically, what exactly is going on with it? Because naturally, we're not only curious about what will happen in the next game, but more specifically, the current development status of the game itself. Over the last two years, game development has been extremely hard on the industry and with covid running rampant it has caused many studios to close down or have extremely large projects enter a snail's pace And whilst we may be in 2022, and we are definitely quite out of the deep end, there are still many games in development now that are suffering, like Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad, which has been delayed. So, in today's video, we will be covering what's next for the God of War series, what's going on with its current status right now, and where will we next get some official news about the climax of the North series of games. But before before we do so guys, as always, I would super appreciate it if we could get this video to about 500 likes. You guys absolutely killed it in last week's video and the support has blown me away. It is your love and support here that honestly does keep the channel going. Now the last time we did get any big news about Ragnarok was unfortunately all the way back in November of 2021 during the PlayStation 5 game exhibition. That unfortunately does mean that it's been more than 240 plus days since we've got any news. Since then, everything has sadly gotten very silent in terms of game development, as we are yet to get a release date. But despite nothing being shown on the front of the stage, behind the scenes is where we do hear some noise going on, as after a long hiatus from the studio, there are many team members that have finally felt comfortable enough to return back to their workstations at Santa Monica, so they will be able to pick up where they left off. We even had Ryan Hurst, the actor for 4, at the studio recently. What 4, however, is something we simply do not know. But if I were to guess, I would say it's him going in to do some mocap 
or maybe redo or add additional lines of dialogue to what's going on in game. While Santa Monica hasn't said too much since the exhibition, it has been made 100% clear that they do hear us and quite possibly sense a little bit of frustration on our part. As after their prolonged silence, it is understandable that they would sense that the community is somewhat quite desperate to hear what's going on with the game. And this was even acknowledged on the 20th of April 2022, where producer of Ragnarok and longtime developer Corey Barlog explained in his four year anniversary celebration video that the game is simply not quite ready right now, as it is their most ambitious game to date. Describing himself as a perfectionist, I imagine the rest of the studio have the same mindset and do wish to give us a fully polished and ready product right out of the gate. So with that being said, and the recap somewhat out of the way, what is coming next? What should we keep an eye on? And will it be a state of play? Well, most likely not. As of right now and making this video, the only real big event that definitely does seem to be catching everyone's attention is the Summer Games Festival being held on the 9th of June. So less than a month away. And there's a number of reasons as to why I think this is a case. First things first, E3. For those of you unaware, the well-known game convention and exhibition has once again sadly been been closed for the third year. Gameplay, all that. You, if if you guys want to, basically, if you guys want to see me, you like play God of War. If you guys want to see me play God of War, let me know. Uh, you know, comment down below because like, because I want to do like gameplay, all that, and do like all of that. You guys uh, see because I don't play like some games. I play all games. Yeah, I play on the team. Play this and that. And yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, just you, you guys just come there and go and see gameplay of this on the first God of War. The first God of War that like, came like 2000 and came, came like 2000. Let me see this. Yeah, probably like two years right now. And a wrap. Probably like two years. Yeah, probably like two years right now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you want to see gameplay? Just let me know. Just let me know that it's gonna go. Yes. Please. So, with the receding popularity of the event, Xbox and PlayStation have been stepping up and organizing their own smaller exhibition. Oh yeah, um, this game is free on PS5. Let me let me know. This game is free on PS5. The first God of War, like God of War, first God of War on PS5. You want to see me now? Want to see the gameplay? I want. With state of plays being an example, but despite this, we actually haven't seen one properly, at least on a game, since the start of the year with Horizon Forbidden West. So because of this, our next and natural assumption is the Summer Games Festival, which has more or less at this point become a replacement for what E3 once was. We currently don't have a lineup for the exhibition of games, but considering that we haven't had any real news since the 2021 Game Awards, I think if there ever was a way to cement your next big AAA title, it's definitely here. We must keep in mind that we are still yet to get a release date for Ragnarok, which is still expected to release this year. So they're definitely running down the clock on this, which in turn makes the chances of a trailer reveal that much higher. It may not be a full-blown trailer, it may just be something quite short and sweet that simply announces the release date. Now, personally, I think that there are multiple reasons as to why this has been dragged out for as long as it has. And I believe that largely does come down to publicity and 
well success. We know that of all of the exclusive PlayStation titles that have dropped, that God of War Ragnarok was always going to be one of the big games of this generation. And with it being next on the lineup, Sony may have purposely been postponing any real information due to wanting to have the market be a bit more open. What I mean by this is that going back to what I said earlier with the mass delay of games, this year we're getting odd and really weird clusters of big game drops with little to no warning. And once again, this is largely because of what the pandemic has done. And I think behind the scenes, it's understandable to think that Sony are probably a bit bitter about the release of Horizon Forbidden West. For those of you who don't know, despite Horizon's phenomenal visual design and gameplay, the exclusive title was unfortunately completely overshadowed by a game that released a week or so later. Elden Ring, from software's next big game and first real attempt at an open world universe that expanded on the refined Souls combat and world design. It is a game that has certainly met its hype and exceeded the expectations of many. But sadly, because of this, Horizon has been left in the dust. It is a title that many very quickly forgot due to the release of the very well-marketed Elden Ring. And this actually wouldn't be the first time that it's happened to the Horizon series. As a few years back, a very similar scenario played out, with its release far too close to that of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Forbidden West was always doomed to suffer a similar fate. I love them games because the last time you were like, you know what, this is one of my favorite games. Like, you know, like Black Blood, basically, Black Blood with King, like, now Black Blood with King, that's probably the very long time we're taking, like, you know, like 100 and like, first time, but first time I feel it, so here, like 180, 85, I don't know what, 185 days ago, like, how? If I days ago, I was in that time, I was in that time, so I chill out the whole month like two months and basically just like off of that get off that um just say that um the least day will be like um like November or, or December. I wait not like, that long because it's supposed to like I think I like, think June June or July is coming up. June or July. So I'll put it then you know, so I thought we not a couple like a couple months like waiting like for you know like only like one month or like one month or wait like, two months ago. Yeah, I think that like, one month ago yeah, to say that um release like that day. Then something will really, really just happen. Something really just happened and they have to go expand it and I feel like eighty like eighty like one of one eighty eight one hundred and eighty each five for like one eighty five again. This is how long that is in my let's have like least season because I was just piss I was just like able like piss off of that basic piss off midget piss off of that waiting that long. That's one game. That's one game. I know they're trying to I know like COVID nineteen that some of them like basically waiting that game come out. I feel like I'm gonna get my money back, but I really, really can't get my money to pay for it for like, like a couple months, like basically a couple months. And I see the game here like that, and then like, we're so, it was just piss me off. We'll wait on, I'll wait on game and game. I think it'll take for a year. A year to like play the game. A year. No, I don't wanna play the game anymore because we're getting so dead. It was just it was so dead. It was, it was just dead. It was just dead because I don't. I don't really don't know you. I stopped playing that game. You know? Also, gotta keep in mind, Elden Ring got pushed a month back, which is why it clashed with Forbidden West. So, 
I think with this information in mind and being aware of how manic the market is right now, Sony is more than likely licking its wounds and choosing when it would benefit them as well as Santa Monica the best. And by probably giving them more leeway and time for Ragnarok to cook in the oven, it means that we will have a more refined product. With that being said, what do you currently think about the current status of God of War Ragnarok? Are you still hyped? Or do you think the silence has somewhat stifled your excitement? Do you think the Summer Games Festival is where we will get some more news? Or will it be tied exclusively to a state of play? Please do comment down below. Personally, I am of the opinion right now that they definitely do need to show us something. Not necessarily drop a huge trailer on us, although that would be nice. But I think it's important to get the marketing side of things rolling. It's been far too silent for far too long. And I think because of that, many people may just end up forgetting that Ragnarok is a thing, especially with the release of Elden Ring, a game that many are still playing to this day. Don't get me wrong, once we get some news, that's definitely where most people will start to flock in. But I think as of right now, it is both good and healthy to keep some interest in the game alive. And I mean, hey man, there's a lot that goes on in that first trailer. You could make some bios on Twitter and your website to let us know what exactly are we looking at. We get our first look at the Drekki, a centaur, Tyr, presumably warriors from Valhalla, Light Elves, our first shot of Nida Valir, possibly Vanaheim, new enemies. Please, for the love of God, there's just so much out there that's just floating in the ether right now. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't getting quite frustrated to see nothing being done about it. But hey, that's definitely me on my part, kind of venting and being very excited about this game. Fingers crossed that something changes. I will say don't get your hopes up for the Summer Games Festival. Just keep your eyes open and expect to see some games. Hopefully Ragnarok will be there, but if not, I will just have to stare at this this brick wall for a much, much longer time. But anyway, guys, please let me know down in the comments below what you currently think about this situation. But for now, as always, this has been it for me. So stay strong, stay well, and keep on fighting as Ragnarok comes for us all. Take care, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for um, watching and uh, because of uh, peace.